so today we're going to do a tour of the JB4. So, turn on the car. And then right here, you hit the connect. It'll connect to the JB4. And there we go. We're getting readings now. Alright, so, I want to kind of give you a tour here. So, this is basically where you set up your gauges at. So you can change them by holding down on like a long press. So you can do ignition timing. Uh, you can do things like throttle position, or trims, meth, gear, air to fuel ratio. You know various things like that. You can even you know get the load, um, oil temp. You can get water temp now. I think. Yep. My map. So right now I'm on a custom map six. That's why it says six there. All right, so that's the main screen. This is obviously where you're going to start your logs to when you are running logs. I'll show you a, a separate video for that, so stay tuned for that. Um, but we have things like export tab. So once you run logs, there will be a list here coming down of the date, the time um, for the logs. And then basically you can click on them. It'll display it in a graph. Next tab is codes. So codes, you hit read codes. It'll verify. It'll check. Mine does not seem to have any codes right now so it's not going to display any um, sometimes I uh, will throw a check engine light for the O2 sensor um, all I do is I hit delete codes it will delete the codes that are in there and you can also save codes too so if you do throw one you can save it um, you know for future reference to, to go back and see what you need to fix there alright so next tab is the settings tab so there are what in my opinion seems to be a lot of settings for you know a piggyback tuner which is awesome um, so you select your engine type because they also make these obviously for the BMWs um, so you can go down to user adjustment here this is where I set up my custom map so this right here is what my map is currently set to run these are um, actual boost pressures that I want the engine to get up to so you know it's, you can set them wherever you want basically uh, you don't want the car to have too many timing corrections though because it will go in the limp mode um, plus you know you run the risk of damaging your engine turbo yada 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 so what I do is or what I did was uh, I started off with you know map 2 which is a little bit step up from my JB1 setup that I had earlier on um, ran a log ran two logs three logs uh, sent them over to George at Burger Tuning um, and he's awesome by the way so when I sent it to him the first day he got back to me in less than 24 hours um, every day since then it's within an hour two hours so the customer service over there is great uh, he'll answer any questions you have so don't be you know hesitant to, to email him and you know say what's up and uh, get your tunes right so a couple things that he had me change off the bat were my fuel open loop which I changed from 60 down to 50 and uh, my boost fail safe PSI which is 26 so that means if the car spikes over that point it will send the car back into its stock map and you know so we don't run the risk of damaging anything so that's what the custom map screen looks like there uh, so a couple other features that they have are is uh, it's set up for methanol so through BMS they have uh, an adapter to run their methanol kit through here which it'll pick that up and there it'll be able to you know adjust for that um, you can also set up different maps so next map I'll be working on with George is to run uh, a mixture of E85 so basically I'm gonna have a custom map that I can switch on and off to when I do go to the track and I run E85 which will be awesome so that's that uh, you can set up an auto log it's kinda tough to get it to a point where it's good enough for George to see what's going on in there so I do try to you know do it on my own uh, which can be a pain in the butt especially if you're on like not the most ideal road because uh, you do have to on and off on the display the start and end log so when you hit a log it'll do that uh, to stop logging you tap it again then it'll show up in your export tab you can click on it hit graph It'll give you a grant. Now, obviously, we didn't do anything, so it's not going to track anything. Um, you can change the parameters of your graph here if you go up to this little setting key. So this will give you all these different readings that the JB4 is pulling out of the car's ECU, and you can display that in a graph-type form. No, you can't get horsepower right from this, like a dyno yet. 
uh, whether or not that'll be even possible in the future, who knows. But um, yeah, so that's the majority of what comes in the app. Uh, and this can be bought off the Amazon, or sorry, the Android Play Store. And uh, I believe when you have it on the iPad, you can get it from the Apple iTunes Store. So it's about, I think it was $26, $24, $25. Um, not too bad. Uh, definitely worth it. It's awesome having these real-time readings right here. And to be able to run the logs and send them to George and essentially get a Pro Tune for free and in the comfort of my own driveway, essentially. Uh, you can't beat that. And he's fast. I mean... One time I emailed him the log, I looked back the next day, and he had emailed me within that hour, that same hour, so I never even thought to check for it. That's how fast he emailed back. So, great dude at Burger Tuning, uh, and so far so good, no issues with the product, uh, really easy installation. So, I do recommend the JB4 if you are looking to keep your warranty intact. Uh, this can be removed probably honestly within 30 minutes. My setup is through the USB CAN bus through the OBD2 sensor. So it's run through the bottom of my Samsung S8 here and the cord runs down and through the firewall and into the JB4 which is mounted on top of my battery right now which is not the most ideal but I will be moving that uh, once I get a, the 034 carbon fiber cover for my battery. So. Um, you know, look forward to that too. But yeah, so that was the JB4 app at least. Uh, I will do another kind of walk around video of how the JB4 is set up and, you know, honestly how easy it is to run the wires. It's four big wires that have plugs already. And then you have another uh, blue, little tiny blue wire that taps into the O2 sensor. Uh, but it's not as crazy as you think. You don't have to go splice some wires or anything. BMS is actually awesome enough to send you with this little pin adapter to uh to you know cinch right onto the wire that's existing right here in the engine bay right behind the steering wheel so nothing about getting under the car other than to remove the splash panel for one plug so but i will do a separate inner or separate install video for that later on uh so stay tuned for that